Today is Thursday. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys. Like I said, it's Thursday, and I hope that you guys are having a really good, a very productive, not too stressful week. I have to say, I myself am having a really good week. So this is the week after, this is after Super Bowl week, a few days after Valentine's Day. I hope that your team won. I hope that you got whatever you wanted for Valentine's Day. And yeah, we didn't do too much. We hung out around here for the Super Bowl. We had our own little mini Super Bowl party. And when I tell you I pigged out, I ate so much. It was really hard to sleep that night. And Valentine's Day was Valentine's Day. You know, when you have a good life, you know, you don't have to wait for a, a day or anything like that to, you know, feel special. So uh, that was it for us. You guys will have to drop down, leave a comment, let me know what you guys did for both Super Bowl and Valentine's Day. Um, so on the agenda today, we are going to do a, a target run. We have a few projects around the house that I want to tackle, some little mini projects. And uh, first off though, I am about to make a smoothie. It's almost two o'clock. I haven't eaten anything thus far. I did have my coffee. Um, a little creamer in it, but that was it. And it is, it's time for me to get, to get a little bit of something in my body, especially before we head out because I don't want to eat out today. We will be traveling here soon. And Eric and I, what we typically do before we head out for a trip, we try to eat a little more healthy than we did months leading up to the trip, I guess I wanna say. Either way, I'm hungry, we're about to make a smoothie. So I just mentioned that I have to go to Target. Well, actually I went to Target two days ago, we're heading back again today, but I had to go two days ago because it was kind of like an emergency. I went to make a smoothie and the blender that I had just said, no sis, not today, we're done. So I ran to Target and picked up this Nutra Bullet. I haven't used it to uh, use it yet. So we'll actually be testing it out here today together for the first time. But I can say that as I look at it, I just actually took it out of the box, gave it a good cleaning. But as I look at it, I do love that the container here, the little pitcher, is a lot larger than my old one. So I love that. And then other than that, it's just a really simple kind of straightforward type of blender. Love that. This is the lid. This is the little doohickey here that you take and kind of stuff your fruits and vegetables down if you are making, you know, a rather thick soup or smoothie or whatever. So yeah, we're about to make a smoothie. So I have some chia seeds here. I have some flax seeds. I have some, some almond milk. So I have decided, again, we're trying to be a little bit more healthy that I would make up my own little uh, smoothie bags. So in here I have some kale, some spinach, and I actually sprinkled some vanilla flavoring on the kale and the spinach before I place it in this bag. I have some cut up bananas in there, some really, really overripe bananas. That's how I like mine to be in my smoothies. And then I have a little pouch of some low carb vanilla yogurt in there. So all of this is going to go you know, into my smoothie. So this is really good or I'm just like super hungry it, it tastes like ice cream it looks green 
but it tastes like ice cream, vanilla ice cream. It has to be the yogurt. I think the vanilla flavoring that I put in and the, the almond milk, but it's so good. <laughs> and the blender works like a charm also. It is so smooth, really, really smooth. So I will absolutely leave the link for the blender and down in the, in the uh, description box. It's, it's really good, but it's really cold too. <laughs> I have got to be starving because that is the best smoothie I have ever had. So I'm going to sit here, drink my smoothie, and then we'll get dressed. Of course, we'll do an outfit of the day. And then we'll head out and do all of our errands. But before, um, before we go, um, guys, I need your help. I have a dilemma with my hair. It's always the hair. So you guys know I have lots, of course. And then I went and I shaved my sides. I am having to shave my this right side of my head at least every two or three days. At least two every two days, I am having to shave the sides. My hair is growing so fast. I think I mentioned to you guys, or I hope I mentioned to you guys that I have a new hair growth serum. Um, I, I think I did mention it to you all, and I had been using it or experimenting with the, the formula right before I got my locks. And I've been using it ever since then. I think I got my locks in like, what, October? And the I'll include some footage of today of me applying the um, hair growth serum. But it is just growing out of control. And so I can't do the shave sides anymore. It's just, it's just too much work. It is just too much work. And then when I don't shave the sides, like today, I feel like it look, looks unkempt. So I've been experimenting with scarves and baseball caps and fedoras, and I just feel that it just doesn't look, you know, neat with the hair growing in over here. So I'm thinking I'm going to cut these locks off. You guys know that you can, or you may not know, if you cut your locks at the right place, you don't have to throw them out once, uh, you know, if you want to get them reattached, because I will get them reattached once this side grows in and then I'll just have a full head of locks all over again. I still have the ones that I removed from over here. I hope this makes sense. Basically, I wanna start all over again with my locks. I wanna start over, um, but, but what hairstyle? What do I do with a shaved head? And then I probably have about, oh gosh, probably four inches of new growth over here on this side. I mean, and then in the back, it's like my locks are just like, if I can show you this one right here, I'm pretty sure you can't see it. I'll try to zoom in, but it has grown all the way out and it's like hanging on, just for dear life, just hanging on. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'll ask Eric, get his opinion on it. But the shaved sides, if you've ever had shaved sides, you have got to understand the misery that I'm going through. It is just you cannot keep up with it. And like I said, using the hair serum, I will insert some pictures or a video of me applying um, the hair serum. And it has, you know, the OG black Jamaican castor oil with a few other things that are proprietary. Um, but it's, it's really, really doing good. Um, I apply it to Eric's hair. You guys know Eric has a whole full head of lush hair, but he loves using it because he says, you know, um, you know, baldness runs in his family. <laughs> and so he's trying to make sure he's being preventative. So he uses it also, but drop down, leave a comment. Let me know your opinion on what I should do with my hair. Should I just thug it out and just let it grow in and have a little mini afro over here? Because the lady that I'm going to this time, she said it needs to be at least two inches for her to... Uh, reattach the locks. So what would you do? Keep this side long and just continue to thug it out over here. Would you cut these off and um, let it grow all in together? I don't know. <laughs> Give me your opinions below guys. I, I'm just lost right now. All right. So one of the projects for today is going to be the mud room. Yeah, look at this, barren walls, barren walls. I've been putting it off and putting it off. Um, I've just been so busy lately, but I'm really going to try to focus on it uh, this weekend. So um, what you see right now, um, again, this is the mud room, not a whole lot to it. 
We have the little built-in cubbies right there. This is the door that leads to the garage. Then over here, we have this little area here. I know for sure these items will be going. I feel that they are a bit dated. All right, as you can see, this is just like our drop zone. Um, so yeah, the hats. I've been wearing fedoras, baseball cap. There are my keys there. I did my nails in the car the other day. <laughs> this is the polish. Now, I know I did complain about just the regular fingernail, fingernail polish chipping. However, you can remove just the standard fingernail polish and apply some more really quickly. Um, so that's why that's sitting there. Eric pulled that out of the car for me. I was wearing this bag, uh, switching in and out between these two here. Um, these baskets, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to donate those. And then my shoes, where I take my shoes off, my Nikes, and then my Nike blazers right there. So yeah, gotta do something with this wall. Okay, it's just, it's just bare. We, we can't have that. All right, we've been putting it off long enough. Um, need something there. And like I said, those items over there are actually going to be replaced. And I wanna get a new rug. And I want to get a new rug also. I feel that this rug is dated as well. All right. Kind of keep the light fixture. Let's see if I can turn the light off and give you guys a better look. Yeah, I think it looks better with the light off in here. Yeah, so that's the light fixture. These are the built-ins. This is where we sit and take our shoes on and off. We have some uh, raincoats in those baskets, those baskets up there, like I said, trying to decide if I'm going to donate those to, uh, sometimes I'll come in here and sit and switch out my purses right before I uh, walk out the door. Shoes, shoes, blank wall. <laughs> and then over here, this mirror is going to go, that piece of wall art is going to go. Uh, this is the drop zone, another purse. Hats, hats, fingernail polish, keys. All right, so yeah, gonna get dressed and then we'll head out. We were about to head out. I was about to get dressed, but um, someone felt like they needed to be a part of the video today. Missed you guys. Um, <laughs> he said he misses you guys. You guys know if you are OGs here on the channel that Eric used to do the pink package shout outs. Leave a pink heart down in the comment if you remember Eric parking or driving around on his way to the post office or UPS. That's actually what he's getting ready to do. Yep. Um, and then he'll come back and we'll, you know, get... Were you going to Target with me? Yeah, I'll, I'll go with you. Okay. But he's going to... I got to keep you under control in Target. What Fellas in the comments, let me know. We all know the stories about Target. When, when a woman goes to Target, it's a wrap. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you try to super, and look, it's only so much I can do. Honestly, I can't really do anything. All right. Let me know in the comments if you kind of have to, hey, let me go with you so things don't get out of control when you go to Target. Oh, well, he's gonna go drop the packages off first, and then I <laughs> guess I'll let him uh -huh. go with me to Target. But he wanted to do a few shout outs, guys. So let's kind of oblige him for a few minutes. All right, Thank you for ahead. humoring me. And, and yes. a few shout outs, we got a lot of orders here. I don't even know if they can see all those back there. I would love, I got like two stacks. There's another stack upstairs. I would love to do everybody, but this would be a whole two hour video. I don't think y'all want that. So I'm just going to shout out a few people we picked at random. First person is Almitra B. I definitely recognize that. From name. the comments, Almitra. Yep. You know what? You know what is really good? When I see people who, um, those of you who comment on the videos religiously yeah. almitra 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 consistent there yeah, she always is there. always yeah. commenting on the videos and so when it kind of crosses over to the store it's really good also so hi almitra hi, almitra, almitra hails from frisco texas i've been to frisco it's outside of dallas it's a dallas suburb uh she ordered the gently fluid gold if you guys are familiar that is the dupe my dupe for Gentle fluidity gold. I'm just spot on, spot on. I'm blown away by what has happened in the fragrances world. Like mm -hmm. I remember, an expensive fragrance was like a hundred dollars, one twenty. Mm -mm. Some of these. So we appreciate you guys supporting the business, getting your dupes. Um, what I love about this too, um, these body butters, is mm -hmm. I have like really sensitive sinuses, so 
if you do too much with a fragrance, my nose will run. And what mm -hmm. I like about these butters, there's just enough fragrance. So shout out to you. This is actually one of my favorites, so shout out to you. So which one is your favorite? You have several favorites, I think you said. Uh, you know what, I'm liking the new Beach Balm. I like this one, because I always like bon bon cream. Uh-huh. So you know it's good when your spouse remembers it. So yeah. bon bon cream, you can pick it up at Sephora. I'm not sure if you can get it from Ulta. This is me shouting out the competition, but <laughs> um, it does smell really, really good. Yeah. And um, it's a I nice tropical. Yeah, I said. Like on vacation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said I had to try. I had to try to do that one, and I think I nailed it, guys. Babe, would you say you I did. nailed it? You did. All right. Yeah. So who? who so Almitra got the bum bum. No. No, she got. Well, it's funny. So she got gently fluid gold, but the next person. Oh, okay. Who is Damika S? Who is also from Texas, Tyra, Texas, right. did get the beach bum. So she got beach bum and the lemon. All right. So Almitra got. Gently, gently fluid go. Okay, and, and the then, next person up, Amika, got the beach bomb and the Delina exclusive. Delina exclusive. Delina exclusive. See all these fancy names again. I, I just remember Chanel, and yeah, Gucci. Some yeah. of these names, I just yeah, yeah. Um, so how do you feel about Delina exclusive? I like all of them. The scents are bomb. I love the scents. Yeah, like the I said, it's amazing. just light enough. Yeah. Um, also, shout out to Damika because she used the discount code from the newsletter. Mm. Shout out to all of y'all that read the newsletter. We get a lot of positive feedback. Definitely check out the newsletter. It comes out once a month. At the bottom of the newsletter, there's always a, a discount code, a coupon code. To get so that's the cheat code, code, guys. That's the cheat code. If you're looking for a discount, you gotta make sure you are subscribed to the newsletter. And there's always a discount code in the newsletter. You can use that discount code on both the skincare area in the store and also the t-shirts. The next up is Carrie W. This is her Hi, fifth Carrie, order. Hi Carrie, fifth and, order. Yeah. She hails from East Hazel Crest, Illinois. Mm -hmm. She also ordered Beach Bomb. Ah, Beach Bomb, it's popular. Beach Bomb is, Beach Bomb is new, not sure if we mentioned that. Beach Bomb is a new uh, fragrance in the store. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that, especially with the warmer weather warming up uh, soon. The next one is Gwendolyn J. Hi Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn's order is special because she ordered two Lux shirts. So the shirts are still out there. Thank you to all of you that still order shirts. Mm -hmm. uh, Gwendolyn Hills from California. I'm not going to say the name of the city because believe it or not, it's got a name that is associated with some other things. Okay. So I'm not going to say the name, okay. but okay. Uh, Gwendolyn knows the name of her city. So, Hi, Gwendolyn! <laughs> uh, the next one, so it is Guilty, and this is ordered by Titania B. Titania B ordered what? Uh, guilty which I think we are sold out of. Yeah, and I, that's the dupe for the Gucci Guilty. That's a really popular one also. But here, this is what I would say to you guys. There aren't any bad fragrances in the store. No. So if you ever go to the website and your current fave is not there, just kind of look around, guys. You can't miss. So Titania, who is from one of my favorite cities, Savannah, Georgia, order Guilty and Delano. Mm -hmm. Next order is Patricia B. Patricia, is, Hi, Patricia. From, is from Monroeville, Pennsylvania. She also used a discount code. Guilty continues to be popular, but she also ordered Streets of Paris. Mm -hmm. Like I said, she used a discount code. I, I really like Streets of Paris. Another one I like that, sell, that smells really sophisticated, the two that, to me that, that really take <laughs> Wait, I've never heard someone say the fragrance smells sophisticated. Yeah, because like, okay, like Beach Bomb is more of like a casual. That's a good point. I'm on vacation. I didn't think about it like that. Streets of Paris and this other one, Bourgeoisie. Bourgeoisie? I think, I literally think of when we went to Paris. When I smell Streets of Paris and Bourgeoisie, mm -hmm. I think of like Paris and Europe and a sophisticated first class trip. So oh, all right. those are two good scents. Um, I really like bourgeoisie, so those are two good ones. Bourgeoisie. And, and actually, this next one, Lynette L. ordered bourgeoisie. All right. Hi, so Lynette. She, so Texas is in, is in the house. She's from San Antonio, Texas. What order does this make for Lynette? This is her fifth. Uh, she ordered Gently Fluid Gold and bourgeoisie. Gently Fluid Gold and bourgeoisie. Thanks, Lynette. Really appreciate it. Uh, the next one is Rose P. Hi, Rose. She's from Fairburn, Georgia. So Fairburn's a suburb here in Atlanta. It's a mm -hmm. suburb here in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. She ordered one of my faves, and you can see I'm, this is my own personal one because it doesn't have you see what is that? Label. This is the turmeric lime uh, face mask and scrub. All right, so very said, popular. Another popular yeah. one in the store. I use the turmeric lime face mask and scrub and the body. Um, 
Keep in mind, guys. He gets that. free samples. He's he's like the, the well, test. I work for him. I get work like yeah. dogs. And he does, he's like tests because remember too. I think Eric said he's very sensitive to smells. Yeah. He always got a sinus issue going on, mm -hmm. and um, so I kind of test out on him the amount of fragrance that I want to put in each body butter. So yeah, he's he's a good barometer for too much, too little, you know. And for the fellas, the turmeric lime scrub mm -hmm. and the turmeric lime body butter is a great shaving put, put that in your shaving ritual fellas check out both of the turmerics the scrub and the body butter mm. all right this is another one or is this a group let me see oh, okay. this is a so our next order guys and i actually had to flip through the orders to make sure i got this right this is another one from carrie w so within the span of a few days Four days, Carrie W. from wow. Crest, wow. Illinois ordered. Her first order was for the Beach Bomb, and this second order uh -huh. is again another turmeric lime face mask and scrub. Thank really, you. really appreciate that. Man, the turmeric lime face mask and scrub is hitting hard because this next one from <laughs> Priscilla L. Uh huh. Uh, from Augusta, shout out to Augusta, another mm -hmm. one of my favorite cities in Georgia. Mm -hmm. Turmeric lime face mask and scrub, and that's her fifth order. A lot of fire. Eric, so you use the turmeric. Right. You two, you use the scrub and you use the butter. What are your what are the benefits you feel you see? In general, I have dry skin. Mm -hmm. Just I I think you always say you're oily. My skin is very dry. Mm -hmm. So all of these body butters, I have eczema mainly on my hands. It helps with that. Mm -hmm. um, the skin on my face, it's in the winter time, you know, you get that winter itch and mm -hmm. everything is dry. Mm -hmm. I love it for shaving. It's like an aftershave, it is great for that. Also, like this. For me, the dry skin extends to my scalp. So, like, I know, have you talked about the uh, hair growth serum yet? Briefly. Yeah. So, this is great for me. I, you know, I, pop my, I part my hair and put, like, the serum in my hair mm -hmm. for a dry scalp. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just, I'm just dry all over. Eric, so I did tell them, I, I'll go ahead and tell, tell you so you don't be like, what? Mm -hmm. I didn't tell them that baldness does run in your family. Now, yeah, just a little bit. Baldness runs a little bit, but somehow Eric has helping. managed to escape it. You know, yeah. he might have a few areas that are a little bit thinner on his head than others, but That's, I think the. Now you said I didn't have any thinner hair. I'm no, 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 hair no it's not. It's not bad. No, I mean, look, come on now, it's not bad. Should but, man get implants? We all know who LeBron James. Mm -hmm. KD, Kevin Durant, they mm -hmm. constantly get roasted. Mm -hmm. the, I think they were roasting uh, Tori Linez before he went where he went. Is it okay for a guy to get hair plugs? Look, I don't mind men getting hair plugs if you can afford it because from what I hear, it's very expensive. However, I feel that men can absolutely go bald. Yeah. I don't know why y'all try to hang on to those few strings of hair. I do think LeBron and KD can kind of they can. They. I think they would look okay ball. They're yeah, basketball like players. y'all got y'all basketball, basketball, basketball players. players. Yeah. Why? Why do you yeah. really care? But my secret to, I think, maintaining my hair and my mm -hmm. hairline, I massage the mess out of my hair and I use the the hair serums. I, I like to. He does. Got to massage the scalp a lot. Yeah, he yeah. does. He gets um, out of the shower and it's like a whole routine. Yeah. Like it's like like he's really into it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Sabrina L. Hi, Sabrina. This is her first order. Welcome to the family. Hi. From Enrico, Virginia. What'd she get? Turmeric lime face mask and scrub. Turmeric lime face mask and scrub is, is one in life. <clears throat> <laughs> now this one. How many more you got back there, Eric? I got two more. Two more. Like I said, if we did the whole stack, we'd be here. Okay. Shout out to if I missed you, I'm sorry, shout out. Now this next one, she has the same name as you. Tan E. T A N. <laughs> first name is T A N. Last name starts with an E from Durham, North Carolina. She ordered my two favorite fragrances as far as the sophisticated fragrances what I just said. What did she get? Streets of Paris and Bush Rising, and she used a discount code. All right, Shout all out. right, yep. 10. <laughs> and by the way, the newsletter is always linked in the description of the video, as well as all the products. They're all right. always, they're always so check the description box for the newsletter, yeah. guys. Go there so that you can save money on your next order. Yep. And the code is good forever, right? It it's, switches it's every, every month. month. Every all right. Month. All right, yeah. but March. so if you the code for February is still good. Yeah, until mm -hmm. till March, and then March we'll get a new one. Yeah. So on and so forth. And we also, it also, if you're on the email subscription list, you'll get it in your email. Oh, okay. So that's, mm -hmm. okay. Last but certainly not least, Burn J. And I've never heard of this city. It's in Burn J. Hi, Burn. Um, and I always say when I did the Pete Packard shout outs, I learned a lot about geography because I've been in Georgia all my life and I've never heard of 
Ladosi, Ladosi, Georgia. L U D O W I C I. I've never heard of it. She ordered two Streets of Paris. Two Streets of Paris. And I think Streets of Paris is also sold out. But, guys, like I said, there are, and I'm like, the TV Bourgeois, is If you on. can't get Streets of Paris, Bourgeoisie is great. Mm -hmm. uh, Delena is great if you're looking for that, that, that more upscale luxury mm -hmm. scent, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, if I look distracted, it's because I'm facing the TV and Taryn Hall is on. Taryn Hall is so cute to me. You know, early on, you guys know that she used to be on, what, the Today Show? And I felt they did her so mm. dirty by giving Samantha the position that they mm. gave her, the anchor position or whatever. And Tamron should have been next in line for that, but they didn't give it to her. And now here she sits with her own show. And I feel she wears some of the cutest little outfits on here. She's so tiny and cute and petite. <laughs> and I just love her hair, her haircut. But anyway. But anyway, so babe, are you done? That is it. All right, that's all that we can do for right now, guys. Because I'm sure some of you are like, I did not check in here to see you guys do uh, shout outs all day. Um, but yeah, thanks again, guys, for everyone who supports the store. Thank you to everyone who supports the channel. We really, really, really do appreciate the love. As you can see, Eric loves his job. He loves going, and, and I think I put a post over on uh, Instagram. He loves going and to deliver, and going, he loves going and delivering these packages. They even I don't, I don't know like him. my boss. Oh, I, he, he's been fired like 52 times. Not, no lie. He's been fired by 52 times. But I love the customer. I love you guys. <laughs> he loves you guys. So outfit of the day, super casual. Like I couldn't, I could not be more casual today if I tried. All right. So I have on these Nike sneakers. You guys just saw these over in the mud room. Uh, I have on these socks. They're super fun. I actually purchased these from Target, what, maybe two years ago? The bottoms are, of course, drum roll please, leggings from Amazon. For my tea, you guys know, if it's a tea, it's from the Unfrumpy Mommy store. So this is Tank Top and CC. I love it. I love this really pretty shade. It's like a pink and a mauve and a peach all rolled into one but i just think it is so super cute all right and then over the top of it i just have this long sleeve button down also from amazon well it's like in the 60s today so not terribly cold but you know still want to be a little bit covered up because it's damp outside it did rain a lot on yesterday so yeah that's the outfit of the day super casual i love that the socks you know make it even more casual, making it a really cute, fun look. And then the uh, leggings from Amazon, you know I've said it before, I will say it a thousand more times. They are so, so stinking, so, so comfortable. All right, and then my bag. Guys, I have had this Louis Vuitton crossbody, I don't even, drop down, leave a comment if you actually know the name of this bag. I purchased this bag eons ago, vintage from Fashion File, and I simply adore it. This is my go-to when I'm just kind of like in a hurry, wanting to grab something or, um, you know, not wanting something that's all fussy, or if it's raining outside and I really don't care if it gets wet, this is my go-to bag. And for it to be a vintage bag, you know, sometimes you get those vintage bags and there's a lot of, peeling going on on the inside. Look on the inside of that. That is in pristine condition. So just love it. I'm not gonna bother you guys. Well here, we're here, why not? All right, so on the inside, a wallet for today is still my YSL wallet. This is a smaller bag, so of course I need to uh, have a smaller wallet today. Bathroom spray, lip gloss, Let's see what else is in here. Just one other thing. Uh, this is the Vaseline. I think I shared this with you guys in another video. All right, that, that's everything. Oh, and a mask in there. But that's it guys, that's it. So we are going to grab the keys and uh, we're gonna head out and run to Target. And then I'll come back and share with you guys the things that I picked up.
Target and I am going to share with you all the items I picked up. So of course I picked up some decor pieces. I also tipped over into the clothing section of Target as well. So here we go. <laughs> I didn't get much, but I picked up these cute little, um, like an army green color shorts. I thought they were so cute. I love the material they use. They used on these they feel like some type of linen but for twenty dollars i am pretty sure they're not linen shorts real linen shorts but they feel really good two pockets of course that's always a plus and then there's a little pocket here on the back and these are by these are by universal thread so i love these so much they got that slash pocket there, there's a drawstring here i love these so much that i picked up like the coordinating top so this is a long sleeve button down. I love a good long sleeve button down. Wearing one today. Button downs are great. They are so just, you can do so many things with a button down, right? I'm wearing it today kind of like a jacket. You can wear it as a swimsuit cover up. And I was mentioning earlier, uh, Tamron Hall. So if you're small enough and you get your shirt in a large enough size, you can also belt it and wear it as a cute little dress or unbelt it and it'll be, it'll be a cute little uh, summer dress if you're petite enough and uh, would look really good paired with some cute little sandals or slides. So I got these two to wear together, but of course I can break them up and wear them as separates. They are sold as separates by the way. Now these shorts right here, I already have just in another color. I wanna say that I have these already in either pink or orange. I purchased these several Target runs ago. I actually tried them on for you guys in the fitting room. So love them so much that I got them here in black. And then to go with them and the show, okay, so the, the army green colored pieces are both by Universal Thread. These shorts are A New Day. And then I also picked up this tank from A New Day as well. Target has some of the best tanks for just the perfect prices. So love those. And then finally, finally, finally guys, I've said it here before, I'll say it again. I love a good pair of cut off denim shorts. And so could not pass these up. These are from Universal Thread as well. So those pieces will be going along with us on our upcoming trip along with you know some other things i'll just pull out of my closet and all right so hold the line i'm going to share with you the decor pieces that i picked up from target all of them just about i've actually put in their new home so yeah hold the line please all right we'll start right here in my office since we were already over here I purchased this artwork right here. I'm thinking this will look cute over in the mud room. I'm thinking it's actually two pieces. Let's put it up here. Yeah, so it's by Threshold, okay? And it's two pieces of art. That's the pattern right there. Uh, yeah, they're slightly different, but I love it. I love the wooden frame. Target, I mean, Target is just amazing. So it's by Threshold. You guys know that's a really popular uh, brand over in the decor section of Target. So um, it's, it comes with two pieces of art. I love the black and white abstract look to it. Absolutely love the frames though. The home scent of the day is actually jasmine these are the incense cones that i shared with you guys a few videos back that i purchased from world market you get this whole jar for four dollars and 99 cents um and today i burned them or want one in this little cone the only thing is it does get discolored so i'll have to clean that out i don't like that i don't mind cleaning out the ashes but I don't like how it kind of gets that discoloration around the side. Does that come off? Let's see if that comes off. Hmm. No, I don't even think it comes off. But anywho, that's the scent of the day. All right, so picked up from Target today. You guys know this is an ongoing process over here, an ongoing project, I guess I should say, trying to get my area in the office over here filled in 
the bookshelf filled in. So I picked this up today from Target. I felt sitting right here, it would play really nicely with this abstract piece of art that's already in here. Guys, these were not bought at the same time. They weren't even purchased at the same place, but I feel they look really good here together. And um, so yeah, I picked that up. Um, I just love that detail. This to me does not look like it came from Target. Like how cute is that? Absolutely love it. And it has some weight to it too. These would be, or this would be great if you purchase two of them and use them as bookends. I am still on the hunt for some coffee table books or some just some books in general to go up here in this bookshelf or cabinet and um, I don't know I may go back to Target and pick up another one of these and just you know put some books in between like can't you see this another one on that side there and some books in between just use them as uh, bookends so really love that that is very very well made like I said um, does not look like it came from Target, but you can't even use Target um, in a derogatory way because Target stuff is good. I'm sorry, it is good. I put it up there with some of the pieces that you can get from like a West Elm, Home Goods, and all those types of places. So yeah, pick that up today. Isn't her hair cute? Isn't her hair cute? I love her earrings too, but yeah, that haircut is just nice. But watching Tamron Hall, but let me turn it down because uh, next up I want to share with you uh, some of the pieces over here from Target. All right, over here, guys. Target, Target, Target. This stone candelabra, guys, is from Target. Yeah, you can't tell me this is not from West Elm, CB2, crate and barrel like the quality on it not sure if let's see if we can do you guys see the texture on that you guys see that this is target freaking love it and it has some weight to it too just really nice really really nice you see see the texture on it really nice so i had to grab that these candles are actually from Amazon. I've shared the box of these with you guys before. Um, you get several in the box, so I'm glad I didn't have to buy any of those. I already had a little stash of those. So yeah, stone candelabra from Target. Picked that up today, and I love how it looks here in this little area of the family room created a cute little vignette there that lamp is from where'd i get that it's a zillion years old um, but i purchased it from home goods this book right here is from home goods as well these items i think this is from west elm not sure where i got these but you know you can find those anywhere all right, now even though I didn't purchase this on today's visit, I have to, since we're talking about Target, that pillow right there from Target. I love the pillow, super soft, and I did mention to you guys before that I was gonna head back to Target and pick up two more. Well, I actually did. Eric has taken them back to the store. I just felt it was too much. I didn't like the look of it. You could barely sit down up here. I just love that this one right here is just gonna nestle and cozy up here in this corner. So whoever sitting there has some prime seating. Um, but yeah, I just felt two, two, uh, three of the pillows, it just was gonna be overkill. Um, so I'm liking the sofa, how it is with just the one. And the last thing, I had this piece already as well. Just that little planter right there. I'm still trying to decide if I wanna put some faux greenery in there or just leave it as is. So yeah, still working that out. But I think that was everything from Target, all right? So what we're going to do now is go ahead, get everything unwrapped. I did pick up some artwork for, artwork for the mud room from Home Goods, but it's in the uh, truck and Eric has a truck taking those pillows back to Target. So you guys will see that once we 
you know, get started on the mud room. So I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap everything. And yeah, then once he gets back, I'll share with you the items that I picked up from HomeGoods. All right, guys, so before we see the, what I'm calling the reimagined, the reimagined mud room, let's take a quick look back at how we started, shall we? Ah, uh, clutter, shoes, things, you know, all the stuff that you expect to see in a mud room. So I'm not too upset about the condition of the mud room per se. What I was trying to tackle here was bringing the mud room up to date. As you can see, we have a lot of shiny surfaces here in the mud room. Yes, there I am with the fingernail polish. I will say though, that particular fingernail polish is holding up better than some of the other ones that I've had. I think that's LA Girls and it's actually from Walmart. But as you can see, that rug is a bit outdated. We have bare walls here in the mud room and I'm not expecting to be able to do a whole lot with the space. I mean, it is a mud room right there isn't a whole lot you can do it's just a little sliver of real estate here in the house but I do feel it has good bones I love that little cubby area over there for sitting and taking off shoes the trim work here in the mud room goes without saying I just love it I still love the paint color of the wall I just need to put something on the wall and take the outdated pieces off and so with that here we are with the new reimagined mud room, guys. I painted the door black and I freaking love it. L O V and L O V E. <laughs> if I can get it out, L O V E in love with this door, guys. It is just amazing. I never realized how tall that door was until I painted it black. And as you can see, we did a little switcheroo with the pillows there. Again, bringing in the black, kind of spreading it around the little room. Um, and then this is a mud room, so there are no windows here in my mud room. You may have windows in yours, but I don't. And so a faux fiddle leaf fig plant was all I could do. No live plants here in the mud room, but I think this one looks pretty realistic. I wanna say that I ordered this one from Amazon or I could have purchased it purchased it in store at home goods. This is this is uh, one that I have had uh, for a while Just didn't really know where to put it, but it's perfect here in the mud room now again bringing in the darker accent pillows and This artwork here was a cute little find also just love that everything works really well here in the space guys You can see the theme here is abstract art black and white with a lot of natural textures. Just really love it So this little area right here guys has quickly become my favorite area in the space well the door first let me say this i just love that door but then this little area right here i mean just look at it how cute is it that artwork right there from target i mean it just goes perfectly with the space that that mirror the shape of it just makes the room really modern brings it up to date and again just kind of floating the black and the other natural textures around the space it's just i just think it's a win i'm uh, not sure if i mentioned it already but this black mirror here this little piece of artwork guys remember that was over by the door i had some paint left over after painting the door and i just used it there so that's it guys that's the space love how it came together really appreciate you guys stopping in today and i'll see you all in the next video Bye guys!